Imagine being on board a prison ship for nine months, trying to care for your small baby, and arriving in a land where there were no houses or buildings for shelter, and no farmers to provide food. That is what happened to Susanna Holmes. She had been deported from England to Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, in 1787 for alleged theft. Susanna became an outstanding founding mother of Australia. We have pleasure in presenting her story in this short video. It celebrates the publication of the book and audio called The Amazing People of Sydney, in which you can follow Susanna's journey and those of others who made great contributions. Susanna Holmes, 1764 to 1825. I was sent to a mixed-sex prison. There were more men than women. One needed to be strong to survive. Henry Cabell befriended me. We both came from a Suffolk village called Surlingham. Before long, we were lovers. Not that there was much privacy. I had been arrested for stealing. He had been in a gang of thieves led by his father. They were hanged. But Henry, the youngest, was spared. From 1783, we were imprisoned for three years in Norwich. It was an overcrowded, filthy place like other prisons. In 1786, we were listed to go to Australia on the First Fleet. Deportation, they called it. A life sentence by any other name. Five months earlier, I had created a new life. I gave birth to a son, and we named him Henry, the son of my boyfriend, Henry Cabell. We were all sent to Plymouth for deportation. We arrived in Botany Bay on January the 26th, 1788. There were 12 ships and the men disembarked, but the 191 women were kept on board for another week. On reaching shore, I quickly found Henry Cabell. He was overjoyed to see me and our son. He asked me to marry him. Happiness amongst so much desolation and danger. Governor Philip agreed to a marriage ceremony. Ironic, because in Norwich Prison it would not have been allowed. We were married on February the 10th, 1788, both aged 19. Henry and myself set up home and built our family. We formed a good team. We were a founding family of Australia and proud of it. As the mother of our ten children, I led a full life. Henry served his 14 years and became a free man. We were determined to give our children a better start.